Hello Flosstube, this is Kate Madam Ice and welcome back to my Flosstube channel. I am really excited to be doing this again today because it's been so long since I've done any kind of update and realistically I just don't have that much stitching to show you but I do have things to talk about and a lot of it is cross stitch related so I figured while I had the motivation I would just go ahead and film a video today so first thing I am somewhere new <laughs> um, I'm actually filming on my husband's like setup up here um, <laughs> so I'm using his webcam and you can see the microphone here I'm like getting really fancy <laughs> you guys <laughs> um, but this is the room above the garage in our house and I've always called that a frog but I recently realized that not everyone calls it that it's finished room above the garage right I don't know but um so this is our frog and I have moved up here <laughs> uh, we are repurposing what was my stitching room so I had to move all my stuff out of there and up here. This used to be just a space for my husband and now he gets the pleasure of sharing it with me. So um, you can kind of see like in the background over here, I don't know, it just looks like a bunch of junk, but like my sewing desk is back here. I've got a bunch of new storage. Here's my stitching chair with cinnamon. <laughs> over here and it's still in progress we're still trying to figure out where to get everything set up up here but um yeah so that's one big thing that i've been doing i'll try to like do a tour of it when it actually looks prettier <laughs> you'll notice right here oh i'm pointing over the wrong shoulder right here we've got a foosball table up here fun fact I freaking love foosball so <laughs> um anyways that was an aside so I am in this new space I am using new equipment and I'm still trying to figure out the best way to set up so I'm sorry but there's gonna be ring light reflections in my glasses because I just can't seem to get away from that um but let's see that's kind of the the big update now moving all this stuff up here has made it so that I haven't stitched that much just bear with me I know it's been forever since I've filmed but I've really only worked on a few projects since then um, I'm doing in the daily 30 group which is a group on Facebook it's closed every once in a while they open up for a few new members but um, if you aren't a part of it I'm sorry you can't can't just readily join it but um, they're doing it their annual challenge this year is uh, it's an animal I'm not gonna remember what it's called because I'm filming <laughs> but uh, animal adventure something like that um, and so I'm trying to keep up with that challenge but other than that, I've kind of dropped challenge groups. I just haven't had the time for stitching. Um, but that animal adventure um, challenge, it requires three projects. And so those are the three projects that I've spent the most time on. Um, unfortunately, one of them is a secret stitch. So I can't share it with you guys because... It's a gift and I can't share it on YouTube yet, but I will soon, I promise. Um, and then, so I've been working on those three projects and then I've been working on one other. So I'll just jump in and start showing you what progress I have gotten on the projects that I've been working on that I can show you. Um, I'm going to save that one. So the first one is... Beauty and the Beast from the Disney Dreams collection. So I don't even remember where this was the last time I showed it to you. But this is the art that it is based on. And then... Oh, 
of course I didn't get any of this out before I showed you guys this one's in the Q snap I'm not gonna take it out of the Q snap right now but um you can see where I am on it oh my gosh so this I think this camera is it reflected I don't know it's di <laughs> it's different I'm I gotta try to figure out how to use this camera um but I've started on oh my gosh this page <laughs> um it's got to be farther than the last time you guys saw it um I think I probably showed you when I had the first two pages done this is the start of the third page out of four um, this is the start of the like rows, um, the wilted rows in the little cloche. I was pretty excited to get there to start working on it. It's just a new thing to be seeing. Um, so that's where I am on Beauty and the Beast. I oh, I finally decided to go through and take the floss off the floss cards that were in the kit because they were starting to tear like a lot <laughs> they were like there were so many holes that i had accidentally torn into and so i couldn't put floss there anymore and it was just getting to the point where it was unusable so i put them all on floss drops and it's a little bit manageable <laughs> They're long pieces, so they still get all tangled up and stuff, but it's an improvement from the the floss card that it was originally on, so. And I'm just going to have to put this stuff away while I'm talking to you, or else it will never get done. I might have already said that. I'm sorry if I did. Alright. So there is one project. Okay, the second project that I worked on, and that is part of the animal adventure, is Garden in Blue by the Design Connection. This is my oldest whip, <laughs> so I've been just slowly chugging along on it. Um, oh, geez, I have this one in the Q-Snap, too. I didn't even remember it was in the Q-Snap, so <laughs> you guys can tell... <laughs> how often I've been working on this. I'm going to go ahead and take it out because this one isn't as, as difficult to get placed. So, alright, here it is. So, um, let's see, the microphone's over there, so I should probably go this side. So, I think since the last time that you guys have seen it, I finished up this block up here and this block here, and I've started on this one. So, I don't know, there's not really a rhyme or reason to why I'm working on them in this order right now. It just is how I'm working on them. <laughs> um, I like to do... Uh, when I have long rows like this top part here of the border, I like to do them all in, I forget which method it is, but you do half the crosses all the way across and then you come back and cross them all. And for this project, because it's so wide, when I do that, I need to put it temporarily on my 11 by 17 Q snap, which is not my favorite. I don't really like the 11 by 17. Um... And so that's kind of where my holdup is on finishing up those borders because I'm just kind of waiting. I'll probably do this grid, this light blue grid um, around, it's probably easier to show you on the picture, the like actual grid around this blocks. I'll probably end up doing that pretty much last just because. Um, and that is that. Someday I'll get this done. If I keep putting it in challenges like this one, which is like the whole point of me putting it in this annual challenge is that I 
wanted to see progress on it because it's the oldest so it should, it'll get done eventually <laughs> all right so those are the two out of the three that I can show you from the um, animal adventure challenge the third one is the gift that I can't show you then I have been working on <laughs> I started and have been working on Quinto Acudo by Long Dog Samplers so I will put a picture of it over here <laughs> this is so weird I'm so I can actually see myself on the the screen and it doesn't like flip it the same way as my camera did or something so I'm really struggling with which direction to point here but I'll put a picture of it over here by now while I've been rambling and here is where I am need to figure out how to best get the shadows out of this but um yeah this is where I am I'm using two colors of silks for you um silk the bright blue and then this is like a variegated I don't know how well you can see it there you go so it's like purple and dark teal and I'm gonna try to keep it so that like the animals are in the blue, the bright blue, and the kind of like structure of the piece is in this darker purple and teal variegated. That's what I'm going for with it. I actually am really, really enjoying working on this one when I do get a chance to pull it out. So, we'll get there. It's another one that, you know, someday, maybe, <laughs> I'll get done. <laughs> uh, okay, so that is the whips that I've been doing. And, um, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's it. That's all I got for you. I think since the last time I filmed, though, I am sitting here thinking right now, and I believe I have left something downstairs that I really need to show you, because I think the last time I filmed was in November, so I think I have a big finish since then that I really need to share with you guys, but it's downstairs, so if you give me a second, I will be right back. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a fun challenge with all the reflections going on right now, but I was thinking about it when I was going down to get it. I think last time I had completed Tiger Lily, but she was already at the framers, so I didn't have her to show you guys. Well, I have her back, so let's see what we can do about the reflections here. It's kind of, there we go, that's not too bad. So I put her in this, it's this black frame with the yellow and orange mat, and I love her. I think she looks great in here, um, and I'm so, so happy with this framing. This is done by Rita Ulam. Um, you can reach out to her on Facebook. I'll put her name contact info below um but anyways I love 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 it isn't this great mm. I am so excited to have her up on the wall now <laughs> and the chart is back with its rightful owner so I'm sorry I was just borrowing it I can't send it out to anyone um it is not my chart to share so <clears throat> okay 
Well, that was exciting. I completely forgot when I was setting up for this that I even had that to share with you guys. <sighs> so, added a whole level of excitement in there that I just wasn't expecting. <laughs> um, okay, so the next topic that I would like to move into. This is, um, we are in March of 2022. It is March 5th, 2022. My birthday's this month. And for a variety of reasons, I feel like starting stuff. <laughs> I just want to, I like in a mood where I just want to start everything in my stash. And you know what? I'm just going to roll with it. I have my rule of 15 that I have historically really tried to stick to. And I've been thinking about it. And right now, where I am in my life, I'm just like, I'm going to throw it out the window. And I'm going to do some starts. And they're pretty big starts. It's not like I'm doing some like tiny projects. Oh, no. Um, I've got some... Some of them are reasonable, a couple of them, but, um, well, you'll see. I've got some big plans, <laughs> so I'm just going to show you. I've been working the last couple months on just, like, gathering supplies for this stuff. Um, I have four that I'm starting for sure this month. I say that. I mean, who knows? Maybe my mind will change, and I'll just not even start any of them, <laughs> but in my brain this month, I am... I'm wanting to start four at least and then if I can pull together some more supplies I have a fifth that I would like to start too. So um, I'll go ahead and start with the couple that are tame, pretty tame. So um, I don't have a cover photo for this one because it is still ongoing but um, I want to start the Lion Witch in the Wardrobe um, stitch along from the Stitching Book Club, Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts is her Etsy shop. Um, unfortunately, she had a, a limited number of these patterns, and so it's not available anymore. Um, she sold out of everything that she was able to sell because she had to work with the C.S. Lewis Foundation um, to get permission to chart a pattern on the book. So, um... Yeah, that's the disclaimer there. There's no more of the ch chart to buy. But I got the chart and I got this opalescent. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell it's opalescent. White um, Lugana, I think. Yep. 32 count opalescent Lugana that I got to stitch it on because she stitched it on opalescent fabric and I love that for Narnia so even though I generally try to choose smaller counts just because that's what I prefer to stitch on in this case I went with the 32 count and then I got all the DMCs for it I'm not gonna bother taking them out but you know there's some fun colors in there here's a couple more um and that is one start. So, the ongoing style, there's no way I'm going to catch up. There's two parts that have been released and I haven't even started. So, I'm not going to catch up. But I have been reading the book, actually. So, we can be proud, <laughs> proud that I'm keeping up with the book, at least. <laughs> um, okay, the other one that is pretty tame... I'll put a cover photo up over here. This is the um, Great Gatsby from the Stitching Book Club um, by Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts. Again, this one is still available. And I'm going to do it on 28 count black Jobelin. I considered... So, again, this is like a bigger count than I usually go for, which is, it's fine. I have no problem stitching on 28 count or 32 count or whatever. Or Ada, sometimes I stitch on Ada. But, um, 
because it's black fabric, I decided I was going to do 28 count. And then I thought about getting, I like got some just dark hand dyed fabrics and I thought maybe I'd be able to get away with doing it on them. But this design depends so much on just that flat back, flat black background and it looks so sharp on it so I didn't want to mess with it so I just ended up getting the 28 count black <laughs> because it's just what it needs and then here are the flosses you know yellows and blues and grays okay the next one that I want to start this month. I loved this the moment it was released. This is The Snow Maiden by Nora, well, Mirabilia Nora Corbett. And if you know me, you know these are my colors. I just, I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. So, um, I would like to get it started. I have the beads, I have the silks, and I have the DMCs. I do not yet have the Krynik, but it's not going to stop me from starting. So... Here's some of the flosses. Here's the water lilies up here. You can kind of see. It's all beautiful. I decided that I am going to do this on. Some of you are probably going to think I'm insane. But I'm going to do it on this really dark fabric called Night Sky by Fiber on a Whim. And it is. This lovely, it's it's coming across pretty well on there, or on the camera, um, like navy blue, but it's got like a green undertone, and I think that this pattern, let me just pull out some of the flosses. We'll try to do like a tiny floss toss on here really quick. We'll see if I can manage <laughs> But these colors on this piece of fabric, I am so excited for this, for this project. I can't describe it. It is, I think she's going to pop out on this dark fabric so well. It goes so well with these colors. I don't know it just seemed meant to be and I had this fabric just in my stash without a plan and when I was looking through my stash one day I was like you know what this would be perfect for snow maiden and it happens to be the right size it was meant to be guys meant to be guys and gals All right. so start number three I don't know what order I'm gonna start these on I don't have dates that I'm starting them on I'm just, I just want to start them. And I have all the stuff now. <laughs> so they're in a pile. And, okay. If you give me. Alright, here's the big, big, big one. I've been working on getting this kitted up. I started last summer. My lovely, lovely um, dad and stepmom, they got me a big part of it for Christmas and um, by the way my stepmom has started cross stitching and I love it it is so fun to be able to call her up and chat with her about cross stitching so um, <laughs> this is a side note but I'm gonna start a chatelaine I just want to I have admired this one for a while I'm going to start the Egypt Garden, Chatelaine. Um, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that picture, but 
I love this design so much. And I always think Chatelaines are beautiful. And they're very daunting. <laughs> the materials list is huge. The piece itself is huge. There's a lot of repetition in the piece. You know, they're kind of overwhelming. But I have officially gathered all of the materials I need for this start. And gosh darn it, I want to start it. So <laughs> I'm going to start it. Um, yeah, I... I've had my eye on this for years and only just kind of bucked up the courage and slowly got the supplies so that I can actually start it. And I'm so excited. <laughs> um, so those are the four that I definitely want to start. And the fifth one is, I accidentally dropped it on the floor earlier. <laughs> Um, I, so last year I participated in the Frog Warts retreat put on by the Black Needle Society and I had a great, great time <laughs> during that retreat. Um, every year, um, if you aren't familiar with it, every year they put out a, um, a pattern that goes with the retreat and they've done it for th this is the third year so they have two patterns out and they're Harry Potter themed patterns um, the first one is based on the first book second one's based on the second book this week this year will be based on the third book and they're designed so that you can put them all together on one big piece so I if I can get my materials together that I want, um, I would like to start these pieces. So here's the year one sampler. Um, maybe. I'm gonna have to take it out. See if that helps a little bit. There we go. So there's the year one. Here's the year two. And I would like to do them all together in one big piece. Um, so it's pretty massive when when you add up the full seven years. Um, they're, they only have an estimated length, but it's going to be pretty big. Um, so... To me, for my sake, so that I have a hope of getting it finished in like a frame or something and being able to actually like put it on my wall so it's not a giant tapestry. Um, I picked up this fabric, which by the way, I had completely forgotten that I had picked up. I was getting those patterns out today and I was going to talk to you about how I needed to find a piece of fabric and then I needed to try to collect the floss. And with the patterns, I had put this piece of fabric that I had completely forgotten that I had bought and planned to do this piece on. So, um, I decided I'm going to do it on this 56 count, I know. Um, but to keep the size manageable, it just really needed to happen. It's 56 count, um, Hogs Bristle by Fox and Rabbit. And it's just a nice tan color. It should work with with all the designs I hope so that is my plan if I can put together some colors at the very least I would like to try to get to a spot where I could potentially start the year three pattern this year because um, I just want to be able to work on it during the retreat this year I don't know how much I'm going to be able to participate in the retreat this time around. Last time I was able to do like a lot of participation. So it was super fun. But I just don't think that I'll be able to do that level this year. So I would like to at least be able to stitch on the pattern. 
which means I need to get like some kind of framework of the first and second year so that um, I have the placement right for the third year. You guys know what I'm saying. Now I'm just rambling. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of like plans coming up. I don't have too much haul. I really haven't gotten anything from Nashville this year. I don't know. Just haven't been feeling the things I've been seeing. I haven't been like... There's some great stuff. Like, I'm not saying that there isn't good stuff coming out. I just... I don't know. I've, I've kind of like slowed down on spending on patterns. Just... I don't know. Because it's just a mood I'm in or something right now. But... um, So, I just haven't gotten anything. Maybe that'll change. Maybe I'll see something on Instagram tonight and be like, oh my god, never mind. This is what I needed. <laughs> we'll see. But anyways, that's all I have to share with you guys. So, um, I hope everyone is doing well, staying healthy, staying safe. I know it's not super safe um, everywhere right now, so... I really hope that everyone is able to, everyone that's here is able to keep themselves and their family safe right now. Um, anyways, that's all I got. So hopefully next time I see you, which who knows when that will be, <laughs> but hopefully next time I see you, I will have a bunch of new starts to share with you because of this month. So, um... And hopefully I'll have a finish I'll be able to share with you with my secret stitch. Anyways. Alright. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me. For listening to me. And um, hanging out and seeing what I'm planning on and what I'm working on. Even though I haven't really gotten much done lately. And I hope to see you again soon. Alright. Bye, Floss Tube.